Do you want to find ways to make your lab work more efficient? Learn some tips and tricks in this video. Hello fellow scientists, I'm the Biotech Girl and in this video I share with you some tricks that have helped me become more organized in the laboratory. We will go through some general tips for working in the lab, tips for individual or teamwork, working as a team leader, and perhaps the most important one, how to organize your workspace. The first thing you need to do for a successful day in the lab is to have a clear understanding of the objectives. And if you're a student, this is easy because it's already done for you, so you can just read the intro and aim before the lab starts. I have to highlight that you need to read to understand. Don't let your mind drift away and think that you have read everything, but then realize you've understood nothing. Plan your work and the steps you need to do in advance. For me, the easiest way of uh, increasing lab efficiency is planning ahead. Plan which equipment you will need, how many pipette tips, which pipettes you would be using. And while waiting for something centrifuging, for example, you can prepare for the next step. Small things that will cumulatively save you time, like setting up the volume on the pipette or organizing your bench top for the next steps by removing the things you no longer need. I know that technically your lab safety is not really connected to being organized in the lab, but it is of the utmost importance because if you have to do lab work the particular day, you must plan ahead to wear appropriate clothes and shoes and also tie your hair if it's long. You don't want not to be able to do the work that day because you forgot to bring a hair tie or if you're wearing shorts or a skirt that day. You also don't want any accidents in case the Bunsen burner gets too close to you or you to it. Also, the basic PPE such as lab coat and safety goggles are a must, so do not forget to bring those. A very important thing that you need to do is to write down everything. While I'm in the lab, I write down the general methods that I've done and I note down any results from certain tests. Then the same day at home, I try to go into the detail of everything relevant that happened that day. You may think you remember everything in the moment while it's happening, but then the time comes to write the report about this in detail and you'd be surprised how much you've actually forgotten. And also keep in mind that except the samples, you need to have controls for each analysis. You don't want to go back another day setting up the same bench and going through the same methods just for the controls. If you're working in a team, make sure that everyone is informed of the steps relevant for other teammates' work. And if you take a reagent or equipment, make sure to return it after completion or at least notify your teammates where you are keeping the item. Communicate clearly and properly and ensure there is no confusion. Ask questions frequently and encourage others to do the same and share the results and discuss them once you complete the work to ensure that they are reliable. If you're the team leader, you can first to identify the strengths of the individuals working in your team and then place them on the proper positions. Make sure that everyone is aware of their daily and weekly objectives and encourage open communication among them, as well as with you as the team leader. Next, you can organize your workspace by gathering the equipment, samples, reagents, glassware, and any other items you might need, and returning them after they are used or no longer needed. For me, it's the easiest way to have everything ready for the next step, and between each new task, uh, you can clear up the bench and make space for organizing for the subsequent steps. So basically, if you only keep equipment and reagents that you need currently on the bench top, you can keep track of the things that you have already done and the things that are coming next. This helps you not to miss out on any relevant work. The way that I organize my bench is that I keep reagents to my left side and pipettes and pipette tips on my right, but if you're left-handed you might probably want to reverse these. Also I keep smaller things in front of me and uh, the taller items behind those so that I can easily reach everything as needed. Also make sure that the, you have the basic things such as ethanol, paper towels and gloves nearby and your notebook and a pen or your laptop, as well as a place to throw away the waste so you don't have to interrupt yourself in the middle of the work. A very important thing is also to label everything. If you think you, that you will remember which reagent is in which bottle because the shapes of the bottles are slightly different, think again. I assure you that you probably won't remember. So samples, glassware, label everything that you're using. It can save you time trying to figure out which one was which, even if you're using those within the hour that you make them. We're all human. We forget them. That's okay. That's why we have markers. And you don't have to be perfect in implementing all of these at once. Don't be hard on yourself if mistakes occur. Remember
remember, practice makes perfect. Until next time, stay curious.